Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Dusk Moss, and today we're taking a look at the ARP 87 from Walrus Audio. So the ARP 87 has been out for a number of years now, and it's been pretty popular. Um, it definitely has stuck around, and that's why I wanted to give it a look on the channel, because I think from everything I've seen, it's just like a straightforward, just good sounding delay at a fair price. And I think the graphics are super cool. There's all kinds of different like colored versions and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's got a digital, an analog, a lo-fi, and a slapback mode. And it's got modulation, damping controls, obviously like length of repeats, there's a ratio, and a tap tempo. And it's also got an expression input. And it's really got everything you need for the foundations of a delay. But enough talking, let's hear how it sounds. So I've got it hooked up. Coming out of the OP1 field with um, one of TE's uh, split cables, but I'm only running one cable into the input of the ARP87. Um, so it's just getting, you know, the left or right channel. But that effectively works as a mono input. Coming out mono into the TX6 from Teenage Engineering and then out into my camera. So yeah, the clean sound, um, I'm just gonna noodle around. It's just a piano sound right now. And I thought we would start there and turn up a little bit. Just as a good foundation. Let's check it out. It's on digital mode. Let's bypass or engage. You can see I've got the uh, X knob control all the way up. And that is like the modulation. So if I turn that down, you'll get a more straightforward repeat. So you can see you multiply it with the ratio. But the tap tempo stays the same. So this is just dividing it. Which is cool. So up to modulation. And you hear the repeats get wigglier and more like a broken tape kind of thing. I'll up the repeats. And you'll hear on the successive repeats, the modulation gets extra warbly. If you press and hold the tap control, you engage feedback. So you can hear the repeats really hold on. Really indefinitely or... Uh, it seems like it is definitely fading, but... Much longer anyway. Pretty cool. We're gonna switch from digital mode to analog mode here. One thing to note when you switch algorithms with this program knob, uh, you see the tempo light kind of flickers. Um, each one has its own stored tempo. So if say if I made the digital 
one really fast like that, and I switch to analog, you see it slowed down. So that's cool if you have different modes, it's almost in a way kind of like presets, or different tempos when you switch modes anyway. So yeah, this is the analog mode. Divide. Shortening up the repeats here. Make it real short. But if you press and hold, you can hear. Definitely ramps the feedback, so. That's cool, just punch it in. And speaking of punch in, you can actually uh, bypass the effect and then punch in with just a, <laughs> that was a bad example, but just a press of the switch instead of a tap. If you wanna just play with a moment of delay, you can punch one in, which is cool. I'm right, gonna switch to the lo-fi mode here. Oh, it's still bypassed. I'm gonna really slow it up. In lo-fi mode, the X controls the amount of filtering applied to the delay repeats. You can hear it's brighter here. A little bit darker here. Kind of hard to tell. There you go. So you did a fuller bodied chord. Repeats up all the way. You can also hear it when you change the ratio. It can kind of jump a little bit. You can actually use that to your own benefit. <laughs> Kind of cool in its own right. Switch back to the analog mode. You can hear it still does the same thing.
right, we go to slapback mode now. We've got the uh, X all the way up, so let's turn that down. Remember what it sounds like bypassed. up the modulation. clean. Let's switch up to a synth sound. Let's see what we can get here, or a more synthesized sound. Let's see what we can get here. Yeah, let's engage. Still in slap mech mode. Lo-fi. Analog mode. A different sound here. Sound like some Missy Elliott there for a second. Digital mode again. And a bypass. Yeah, there's not really, there's not any delay on this, but there's like a little, little crispy finish, if you will. All right, let's check it out. feedback 
and then tweak the ratio. A little bit of a pop. It's still a cool effect. Nice, okay, to analog mode. Lo-fi. You really hear the filter in this mode now. up really high obviously you get those really long delays I believe it goes up to one second or a thousand milliseconds Now slapback mode. Gonna get that comb filter weirdness going on. I guess because the uh, modulation was up all the way. Ratio is reversed on a slapback. They're tighter when you're on like the whole note versus like the whatever that they're, I don't know. Which kind of makes sense because in slapback you want it to be a lot more, I don't know, a lot tighter. There we go. There is a look at the ARP 87 from Walrus Audio. Um, I think it's a really good, really straightforward delay with some different modes. I think it sounds good. I feel like the analog mode um, has a nice darkness and richness to it, which I always like from analog delays. Digital, you know, maintains your initial signal going in, has no problem handling 
uh, line level I'm noticing here. So that was really nice. Um, sometimes I really have to like dial it back. So that's cool. Slapback is interesting. Lo-fi, it's nice having the filtering options and uh, yeah. Shout out to the fine folks at Walrus for sending this over for me to take a look at. I've been curious about it, like I said, for a long time. So um, it's awesome being able to get it on the channel and share it with you. So if you're looking for a fairly priced delay with a lot of options, um, hands-on control and some good build quality, I feel like the ARP 87 is a solid choice. Anyway, that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.